All right, you guys. Hey, Jason, outdoor gym guy, walking down the beach. There's another way that you can do a workout, and that's just using the smaller rock, right? You don't necessarily need huge weight to be super functional and get things done. So I found a smaller rock, and this is a great way that we can do a lot of balance stuff, a lot of isometric stuff, think little extra things that you wouldn't want to use a ton of weight with. So here we go. First exercise. You're going to balance and stabilize within your foot, okay, holding the weight. Coming down to a touch, coming back up. If you want, you can add the curl, you can add the press. Right now, we're just going to go ahead and do the touch. So let's do 10 of them together. Let's go down, come up, hold it to your side. Down, up, hold it to your side. Let's do 10 of these. You really want to activate back in the glute. Get that working for you. This is all balance and stability. You want strong ankles, strong knees. You're gonna feel your knee kind of turning a little bit, especially in the sand. That's all right. It's all working. Nice. Then what we'll do is we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Going down, touching the toe, back up. Again, if you guys want, you want to add a little something to it, add the curl, add the press at the top. Right now, just focus on stabilizing. I'm a strong believer that your injuries normally come from your ankles, and the whole ankle complex. You want to make sure you have strong ankles, to be able to run those trails, run the beach, do what you love doing. Nice. From there, we're going to make it a little more dynamic. Now we'll go left and right, side to side. So now you're going to step to the side, switch, go to the other side, back and forth. It's hard to do in the sand, but that's great. You want to stabilize even more. So let's do 10 of these, you guys. Side to side, go down as far as you can, touch and touch. Holding that rock, giving you a little bit of a counterbalance. Nice. You want to get 10 each side. All right, two exercises down. Number three, stabilize on your opposite foot again. So you're going to be on your left foot, holding with your right hand. This time, we're just going to go straight out to the side, lateral and up. Come up. Good. Down and up. Works those shoulders. It's all the way through the arm, stabilizing through your glute, through your leg. It's all about balance. In this workout and in life, you got to just keep it balanced. It's nice. I have nobody around me, sweating around me. <laughs> I don't have recycled air. It's fresh outside. Okay, we do the same thing the opposite side. Come on up. If you can just come to here, that's fine too. But try to increase your range of motion. Get up over the head. I've been doing this a long time and I'm still a little shaky. It's okay. Just the muscles firing, waking up a little bit. Let's do it a 10. Ten, nice. Okay, last one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of box and grab the weight. So you're gonna shoot out, grab the weight, bring it back in. Out, grab, in. Just like that. This always reminds me of a little karate kid action. It's good stuff. Work on the dexterity. Grabbing that rock, the more you throw it, the more you grab it. Your hands work a little bit more each time. Pull your stomach in, get those abs contracted. Just do 10 each side. Nice. There you go. Some great things you can do with just a small rock. Get creative, have some fun, follow along with me, keep me in your pocket. You don't need a gym, you don't need a gym membership. Save the cash, work out with me, train outdoors.